Yo, what's poppin' guys? Kaizuka here with another Genshin Impact video, and I know it's been a hot second since I last uploaded, but I, you guys know I love Xiao, right? He's my favorite character in the entire game, one of my favorite characters in any work of fiction, any video game, whatever, right? So I just wanted to bring you guys the best possible updated team comps you could run with Xiao, right? I want to show you guys all the best options there are, the best combinations, and how to get your Xiao to reach his max potential as the conqueror of demons so let's just get right into it guys so first thing of course is the man himself xiao our beloved right so as you can see here it's pretty simple for weapons obviously his best in slot is the primordial jade winged spear that's his signature weapon of course is going to be his best however there are other options that are amazing and can even do more damage under certain certain circumstances right so a prime example of that is the staff of homa it is just a massive stat stick and depending on your artifacts it could also do more damage if you have a shield up and are under 50 percent health able to maintain that then yes staff of homa can do more damage under most circumstances however the jade wing spear is insanely good now is it worth getting the jade spear if you already have deathmatch fully built or you already have the black cliff pole right there are different options different options you can run and i would say not necessarily it would not be worth getting the jade spear over another five star character so if you already have all the supports xiao needs if you already have your second team the way you want it then yes, absolutely go for Jade Wing Spear. It is, it is amazing. It's a nice DPS boost. It's going to make your Xiao just crazy, right? It's great. It's worth it, considering in the circumstances that you already have the other characters you need. Okay, Deathmatch just works just fine. Okay, if you already have Homa, that works phenomenally as well. So there are other options. You don't have to have this to be good as Xiao. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. But if you do have that definitely use it there's no one better to use it on than xiao so there you go artifacts you're going to be wanting to run two piece of veritas and veneer and for your second set you either want to run two piece gladiator or two piece shimanawa so for example gladiator here it is it gives you two piece set attack plus 18 percent and the shimanawa's reminiscence two piece set also gives you attack 18% just like Gladios. So you can use either of them. They're interchangeable. It does not matter which one you use. Both are perfectly fine. Okay. So two piece of those. The reason I do not have a two piece is because I only just started farming Shimanawas and I got this god godly set right here, as you can see. And it was so good that it's worth me breaking my gladiator on um, two piece to use because this this is just so much better crit damage crit rate than i was getting you know is better than the attack bonus so if you have insanely good artifacts that aren't in the set like say you have like 30 percent crit damage you know stuff like that right well then yeah you don't have to have the artifact set it is better to have a high crit damage and crit rate you definitely definitely want to focus your crit damage and crit rate try to get close to the one to two ratio you don't have to get exactly there if you get around 70% or more crit rate, you're you're fine. Like somewhere from 70 to 80 is ideal. Any more than 90 might be overkill, but I mean go for it if you really want to. But yeah, crit damage, get that as high as you can. It's it's gonna really boost up your numbers a lot. So if you're able, like I said, get more crit rate and crit damage with a uh, not having you know both artifact set bonuses then go for it just get whatever you can and making sure that you have a high crit rate and crit damage constellations you don't have to worry too much about xiao's constellation c1 is nice it is definitely not necessary and the other constellations are kind of trash until you get to c6 okay and then talents I mean, if you're a real Xiao main, you'll max them all out. But if not, you definitely want to focus on these two, unless you're C6, and then you'll want to get the wind cycling ability focused. But yeah, now for his main teammate, you're definitely going to want to have a battery. There are several options you have for Xiao's battery. And guys, you have to keep in mind that having a battery for Xiao is the most important thing you could do, right? Unless you could one cycle the abyss with Xiao, unless your Xiao's crit damage is so insanely high that you could do your ultimate one time and clear everything, then you're gonna want to have you're gonna want to have a battery. Okay, battery is gonna make your life so much easier. You're gonna get so much energy, so many particles. You're gonna be able to use Xiao's ult much more often. It is it is amazing. Okay, so I think the best battery in terms of pure like raw energy is gonna be Sucrose. 
Sucrose just does a phenomenal job, plus she has the benefit of being able to use a Thrilling Tail as a Dragon Slayers. This is insane, especially if you get it to Refinement Rank 5, so make sure you do not throw this weapon away. Even though it's a 3 star weapon, it is one of the best weapons in the entire game. Because when switching characters, the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 48% for 10 seconds. That is, that is crazy. So that means you use Sucrose, after that, you switch to Xiao, the new character, which will be Xiao if you switch from Sucrose to Xiao. Xiao will basically get 48% more attack. That's, again, that's insane. That is god level, okay? God tier. So make sure, if you are running Sucrose, you definitely, definitely, definitely want Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. There are other options. You could run the Sacrificial Fragments. That is good if you have lots and lots of trouble of energy but to be honest if you're running sucrose and have a few constellations on her you will not need to run sacrificial fragments i used to run it it was unnecessary you don't need the extra energy so definitely use the thrilling tales of dragon slayers in most circumstances it is overall the best constellations you definitely want to have the c1 for the additional charge that is going to give you much more energy it's just it's phenomenal of shell so there you go now, here's where you get into more of a flex spot. Albedo is an insanely good support for Xiao if you have him. He is my preferred spot. So like you see here, this is my preferred Xiao team. This is what I consider my favorite of what I have. So I really, really love Albedo. I pulled Albedo just to run with Xiao because he has a lot of really good synergy because his skill is insanely quick which means you do not take up much time when you use them so you could use them pop a skill and then switch to another character so it's it's really great for xiao because xiao is insanely selfish as a hyper carry so the less selfish your supports are the better off xiao will be because the more screen time he'll get so for weapons his by far best option is the cinnabar spindle it's it's literally handcrafted for albedo it's perfect for him everything about it don't, don't use anything else. If you have Cinnabar Spindle, don't use anything else. It's not worth it. There is another option for Albedo. You could run the Harbinger of Dawn. It gives you more crit damage. And when your HP is above 90%, increases crit rate by 28%. This is a very good option, right? But only use this if you don't have the Cinnabar Spindle. This is good. This was his like one of his best weapons before the Spindle came out. But now that that's out, the only reason you would run this is if you missed the event for some reason. So yeah, definitely if you have this, run it. If not, Harbinger of Dawn works as well, and it's really cheap. For his artifact set, Husk of Opulent Dreams is his by far best in slot. Another thing, handcrafted, works perfectly with Albedo. It's just phenomenal. There's no reason to use any other set besides Husk of Opulent Dreams. So get farming if you don't have anything decent for him right now. With Albedo, he's a support. It's not really worth it to get constellations, but if you are a well and you're wondering, hey, is there any constellations that are good with Xiao, then his C4 is going to give him increased plunge damage within the field so that's obviously really good for xiao who does primarily plunge damage but if you're a well i would honestly rather put the constellations into xiao and if you because like if you could get to c4 chances are you're able to get to c6 with a character right so go to go c6 xiao instead you're not even going to need to do plunges as much because you can spam e with xiao c6 so yeah definitely it's not really worth it but i mean if you already have him C6 and you just want to do a little extra plunge damage and you just have, like, the money to blow for some reason, hey, I mean, you, you could do it. C4, it's really good with Xiao. Not gonna make or break it, though. Now, the last character of this roster that I want to talk about is Zhongli. And Zhongli, I know I said that a battery is the most important thing for Xiao. Like, that's the most important role to have as a support, right? But specifically, the most important support character for Xiao is Zhongli. Like I said, it's very important to have a battery, but if you're gonna roll for any one character to help out Xiao, Zhongli is, is better than literally any other character in the game for supporting Xiao. Now, what you're gonna wanna do for him, though, is you're not gonna focus on his burst DPS. You're not gonna build a burst support Zhongli. It's not that great with Xiao. Xiao is hyper carry, like I said. You want all of the attention to go to Xiao. You don't want Zhongli to take up too much time on the field. You pop a shield with the pillar, and you're good to go. You're good to switch off to Albedo, you're good to switch off to Sucrose, and then you're good to switch off to Xiao, right? That's boom, boom, boom. Quick field time, quick support. The shield is amazing with Xiao, because Xiao is insanely, insanely squishy, right? 
That's one of his main cons. He's a squishy character. But Zhang Li's shield basically fixes most of Xiao's problems, plus gives him a nice bonus by decreasing enemy resistance to anemo damage, which is what Xiao does. So as you can see here, characters protected by the Jade Shield will decrease the elemental resistance and physical resistance of opponents and a small AoE by 20%. It says small AoE, but don't be fooled, that is more than enough room for Xiao to get in there, do his damage, and have the enemies have reduced resistances against him. So Zhang Li not only makes Xiao much more survivable, but also makes him do much more damage. It's insane. It's it's crazy. He is he's living he's god tier. He's god I mean he is a god after all, so it makes sense, right? But yeah. So for weapons, I like to run Black Tassel. No, I know, this sounds like a meme, right? It sounds like a meme to run the Black Tassel, but it's it's great. HP increased by 42.8% at level 80. That's insane. The reason you want to do that is because you want to try to get your HP to 50k. If you could hit 50k, you're in a great state. Your shields are going to be insanely strong if you have, like, around 50k HP. 40k is also good. At the very least, try to get to 40k. But if you're able to, with your artifacts you get lucky definitely definitely go for 50k and it's even easier to do that with the tenacity of the millilith set which is the only set you're going to want to be running on this particular type of zhongli build which again is a shield bot zhongli you want four piece of tenacity the first part increases hp by 20 percent and the second part it's it's great for your shield increases shield strength increases attack of nearby party members it's like it's great it's just it's, it's perfect okay so yeah four piece tenacity set black task you should be good to go on your hp if you if you roll lots of hp stats so for example hp 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 i'm not joking guys you want to get as much health as you can on zhongli now in terms of alternate alternate anemo batteries you don't have to run sucrose and by the way, for your Nemo batteries, you do not want to be running Viridus and Veneer. Vir VV is really good for elemental carries that are not a Nemo. So like, for example, Hu Tao um, is amazing with a VV support. But for Xiao, you're not going to be doing any swirl damage because you're like a Nemo. You're, you're doing a Nemo damage. So swirl, you can't swirl a Nemo because the swirl itself is a Nemo, right? So you don't want to be running VV. What you won't want to be running is Noblesse Oblige. That is insanely good as a support. So for example, right here increases elemental burst by 20%. That doesn't matter as much. The four piece is what hits big. Using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. This is just going to give Xiao more attack. It's like a mini Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers right there. So yeah, definitely run Noblesse Oblige for your Nemo battery. Now speaking of Nemo batteries, Vinti is an amazing option. I know a lot of people say that Venti is not good for Xiao. He's not optimal for Xiao. That's what I'll say, right? He's not the best battery for Xiao, but he's really fun. I use him a lot in the overworld. It's great. It works out fine. And depending on your rotation, you can make him work. For example, if you're using skills, if you if you pop Venti's like tornado, right? His big ultimate, no Xiao cannot hit enemies with his plunge while they're in the tornado. But if you switch to your other support dps characters use their ability use their burst switch to the second support dps character use their ability use their burst by the time you've used all the abilities and burst the tornado will be about gone and you switch to xiao by the time you pop his ultimate and you start plunging the tornado will probably be gone and you can start doing your damage again just keep in mind you can't do the damage while the tornado is up okay so use the tornado get particles collect them with xiao etc you could use venti he he works he's viable is he the best? No, but he definitely works. If you have him and you don't have your Sucrose built, you don't have you don't have any other characters built, you could use Venti. I like to use him, he's fun, right? Weapons, you have several options. Windbloom Ol Ode is what I like to use. Elemental Mastery is not good for Xiao really, but the Windbloom Wish is pretty good because after using an elemental skill, receive a boon from the ancient wish of the windbloom increasing attack by 32 percent that just means your stuff does more damage it's solid right it, it works there are other options too you can use favonius bow for more energy particles that's really good with xiao because xiao wants energy that's the main reason you'd run him so that's a good option right there stringless is also solid if you want venti's um skill and burst to do more damage 
Solid again, the elemental mastery is kind of wasted, but it's an option. And you could also run the Viridescent Hunt bow, which increases crit rate, and you do some extra damage with attack. So if you want Venti to do more damage, like I said, Venti can do some decent damage if you have it built properly. If you have really good artifacts on Venti, he has high crit rate, high crit damage, then yeah, you may want to use like, you know, Viridescent Hunt or something like that that makes Venti stronger. If you don't have a good build for Venti, then just run Favonius Warbow and you'll be able to get more energy particles and better battery shell. The next option I want to talk about for an Anemo battery is someone I don't have, who I really wish I did have, and that is Jean. Jean is absolutely phenomenal with Xiao as a battery. Um, the build is pretty much the same with Noblesse of Elijah and stuff like that, but for weapons, you're going to want to either use a Sacrificial Sword for more energy to, you know, end the cooldown so you can cast it again and give Xiao more particles, or Favonius Sword does the same thing as the other Favonius weapons. Pretty straightforward. See, you see right here, generates, you know, elemental particles, yada yada yada. Self-explanatory. Jean is a phenomenal option, plus she could heal, so if you have her as well, It'll do less damage with Jean than Sucrose. Sucrose does the most damage for Xiao, but you're going to be missing out on healing. So if you're not comfortable without a healer, then definitely use Jean if you have her. However, if you are comfortable with your health, you're not dying a lot, you have like Zhongli's shield up, and you're able to survive with Zhongli's shield alone, then hey, you, you don't might not need Jean. I don't use Jean because I have Sucrose and I have Zhongli. So yeah, if you're able to survive with just Zhongli's shield, then you're good with Sucrose, but if not, then definitely Jean is a option that makes Xiao much more comfortable to play. I want to talk about a option to replace Albedo. I, this is the character I used all of the time before I got Albedo, and that is the one, the only, can you guess who it is? Can you guess which character it's going to be? Bennett. Bennett is just, he, he's godly. He's a, he's a secret pyro archon, right? He's a five-star character disguised as a four-star. There's Bennett is just crazy, right? The only reason I don't recommend Bennett as, like, the core team that I recommend highly the most, which, again, the core team, if you don't remember, Xiao, Sucrose, Albedo, Zhongli for max damage, is because Bennett is usually better off in other teams. Bennett will serve other characters far better. The main reason you don't want to use Bennett all the time with Xiao is because of his field is not nearly as big as Albedo's field. So when you use, you know, Bennett's ability, it makes a little circle. Albedo's circle is much bigger, so it's much easier to use Albedo, it's much more comfortable. And Albedo does a lot of damage on his own. However, if all you care about is seeing big daddy plunge damage numbers on Xiao, Bennett is going to make Xiao's numbers skyrocket, just like Zhongli, right? Zhongli and Albedo combined, plus Thrilling tells us Dragon Slayer on Sucrose, Xiao's gonna be hitting crazy, absolutely crazy, right? But keep in mind that that is the plunge damage alone, other you know factors such as Albedo's field does damage on its own, it's not going to translate, you're not going to see Albedo's damage in Xiao's plunges, but it's going to be just as much if not more with Albedo, plus it's going to be easier to use with Albedo, right? And if you already have a lot of attack on Xiao, like if you're like me for example, I'm running an attack goblet because I don't have a good Anemo goblet, of course with attack on the sands already, so that's double attack, diminishing returns, right? So you're not getting the best bang for your buck with Bennett if you have attack zones on Xiao, plus the fact, again, small circle, it's not that worth it to use Bennett. But if you don't have Albedo, he's a great option. Just practice, make sure you're able to stay in Bennett's field, and you'll do just fine. Plus, he's a healer, so you don't need Jean at all then. You could comfortably run Sucrose and Zhongli with Bennett, and you don't even need a healer like Jean, because Bennett himself is a healer. So, oh, there you go, just make sure you don't C6 him. All right, make sure you don't see six. The best constellation for him is a C1. It's gonna it's gonna help out damage a lot, right? For weapons, I like to use the Festering Desire for the energy recharge. It's not that big of a deal. You could use Favonius, their sacrificial sword. You could use really whatever you want. I like to use Festering Desire. It's again not that big. Of a deal. And for artifacts, Noblesse Oblige is really good. If you already have a character running Noblesse Oblige, though, then I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, Noblesse Oblige, if you don't have anyone else running it, it's, it's great. Great set. Alrighty guys, next I want to show you exactly what Xiao could do with a properly built team. So, let's just get right into it. There are people, of course, that can do much higher damage. This is just my demonstration. Not a perfect run, I'm just running here. Giving you an idea of what you can expect. Okay, so don't... 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 
わめくがいいっ上よ、うんうん、ここだここだここだここだよっしゃ。